What's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking, Aaron, you look incredible with that mustache. I know I do. Unfortunately, it's going to be gone at the end of November, but enjoy it while it lasts. You got a couple more videos with it, so enjoy. So today we'll be taking a look at Mott & Bow's dynamic stretch jeans. They are relatively new and they claim to be two times stretchier than their original pants. So I got these in two different colors and two different sizes in each pair. Monbo has this try at home program where if you're not sure what size you're going to be, you can get two different pairs sent to you. Of course, keep the one that fits and then send the other one back. They give you a, a prepaid return label so you don't have to pay for like two pairs or anything. Um, but that's really cool. So you guys will let me know which one fits better and then I'll send the other one back. All right, first off, this is not my first Mott & Bow video. I did review this pair along with a couple other items about a year ago. Um, this is their stone color and this is still one of my favorite pairs of jeans. Only a couple things that I didn't like about this and the number one was that it wasn't stretchy enough. You know, it's, it's comfortable, but I wear my jeans slim. I, these are actually the skinnies and when you have them snug like that, you want them to be able to stretch with you, otherwise they're uncomfortable, right? So these, while they fit incredibly, they're just a little bit uncomfortable, so that's where these come into play. The other issue I had with these was that the pockets didn't go deep enough, in my opinion, so when I put my phone in there, I have a 12 Pro Max, so it's like the biggest phone, so when I put it in there and I try and move with it, it just like was very uncomfortable. It was like jabbing me in my hip, you know, so that, I didn't like that. That was my other complaint. Um, with these, I don't think they really changed the pocket depth, unfortunately, but since they're a lot more stretchy, I don't notice the like discomfort in my hip like I do with the other ones. I'll go ahead and put the material makeup on the screen for you guys and show you a couple details. As you can see, their button has Mott & Bow imprinted right on it. Looks really nice. They do care about their detailing, you can tell. These are a high quality pair of jeans for sure. Uh, on the back of each button, you can see that they have their M for Mott & Bow imprinted on that as well. In the back of the jeans, they have their leather patch with Mott & Bow imprinted on that as well. It's nice and simple and at a distance, you can't even see the Mott & Bow, which I actually like. I'll also show you the buttons and the leather patch on the other pair of jeans just because they're different colors and I want to show you guys those details up close. Moving down to the bottom of the pants, I wanted to show you guys the leg hole openings because those look really nice. Um, go ahead and spin around for you guys here, but I also wanted to cuff them and show you what that looked like. Here we go with the other colorway as well. The first pair I'll be trying on is the Worcester Dark Blue. These are our size 31 waist, 32 length. I am 6 feet tall, 160 pounds. I typically wear a 31 waist, sometimes 32, um, you know, depending, maybe a 30 on like joggers or something, but typically 31. So here we go. Okay, so these are the 31 32s. Go ahead and show you the waist. Nice and stretchy. Okay. Stretch down the pants. Okay, these are the thirty thirty twos. And show you the waist. Still, even with it being a smaller waist, I do have that stretch. Also wanted to show you these cuffed, just because with this color jean, I love the contrast, the way that looks. Give you both looks. Comment down below what you guys think fits better. The 
Okay, these right here are the 31 32s. So 31 waist. And here's the waist. These ones feel like they might be even a little bit stretchier than that darker pair. Also show you without the cuffs. Okay, these ones right here are the 30 waist. Definitely a lot more slim or snug. Show you the waist. Look at all that space. For a 30 waist, it's a lot of space. More cuffed. I just want to show you guys the stretch on my first pair of jeans. These are the stone, not the dynamic stretch. This is the original. So this is me pulling it like as hard as I can right here. And that's how much it stretches. I'll go ahead and show you the other. And here are the dynamic stretch jeans. So as you can see, much more stretchy. Um, but to be honest, you really notice it not doing this, but when you try them on, they are just like way more comfortable. Better experience overall for sure when you get the dynamic stretch. All right, guys, moving on to the ratings. So first up, we have Fit. They are getting a 3.6 out of 4. I think the 31, 32s fit me the best. The 30, 32s, like I can get away with, but they're just a little bit too skinny for me. Like I don't want them like jegging tight or anything like that. So I think the 31, 32s fit me really well. Them giving us the ability to get those two pairs of pants, try on, you know, which one, both of them, and then whatever one fits better, you keep that and send the other one back. That really helps out for fit because it ensures that you get the correct size. Moving on to comfort, they are getting a 5.2 out of six. They are really comfortable, probably the most comfortable jeans I've worn because they're just so stretchy. They are really soft too. Um, and I just really like them. And that gives them a total of 8.8 .8 out of 10. So overall, I really like the dynamic stretch. I hope they end up including it for all their fabrics and all the different colors and models. That would be awesome. And then the other thing for me is the pocket depth. I just wish it went a little bit further down just to be more comfortable when I have my phone in there. Maybe that's something they can incorporate in future products. That would be awesome. For value, I am going to give them a good because these are, I think, $118. Um, they did give me a discount code for you guys if you want to try these out. It is Aaron10 to get 10% off. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, put them in the comments. Um, I want to say you're welcome for getting to look at this for however long this video is. But that's it, guys. I will see you next week with a new one.